Oh, Howard. Hi, I heard my name multiple times. Oh, that was me on this side. I don't know about them. Yes. So I spoke to the one with the staff. I forget her name at this moment. Uh, Antonia. Antonia. So, at least, at the very least, she is the, she is voice that if the Foundation's trying to stop the world from then she agrees with that motive. But uh, for any sort of intelligence and asking for assistance in that, she's asked me to join the Maxwell list as an intern under her team. Are you familiar with this process? Yes, it's uh, induction into their services. Hmm. That's up to you whether you want to join them. We can help them decide. Our goal is to make peace with everyone. Okay. Interesting. But if that doesn't suit you, we have a few other people that I mentioned before. I'll give you an update on them if you want. What's their status? What are they doing? The opposite faction of these people. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't then acquire any information, maybe try harder. All right. So pure logic. Don't show emotion. Got it. Mother Superior, let's see what we find. Yeah. Luck. I'm wondering if the Foundation's motives here are going to lead to a lot. Or rather, one should uh, go down, down, down a path of the church. We are over here by the sect of the broken god. We'll see what's happening here. So Howard wants us to obviously try and stop the world ending and isn't very clear on how we can do that, unfortunately. But let me see if the mother is superior. In fact, chaos and surgery to recruit. We got a rad sighting, so I got to figure out where I want to go next, uh, which I kind of want to stick with the Marxist Marxwellism. I keep butchering the names of things. No, I see Sherm. He's over here. Oh, he is with a nun. That's funny. I didn't realize they were a nun here. Oh, hello. hello. Can I help you? I was curious about your research. I was talking to the others and learning about you guys and learning about what you folks are up to. Yes, I have been putting together my own archive, you see. I have quite a few entries at this point, eight pages of summaries about things important to the Maxwellists in particular. Yeah, I saw someone bring over that helmet. Yes, the helmet. Now, the helmet is something that I've been developing personally, but that, of course, is very easy for me to tippy tap into the database. Hmm. I'm interested in gathering things that I don't have knowledge of. So, yeah. this is to say that if there was anything you wanted to know, Anything you are curious about? Yeah. We're the most extensive informational network outside of the CIA. Yeah. So, I of course will have answers for you, but yeah. if you give me information mm. in exchange for it, it will be yeah. yours. Makes sense. All right. What What are you looking for? What What can I help you get? If you can give me information on any of our competitors, that would be very useful. Mm. No. If you don't want to do anything untoward, then perhaps if you could find information on my employees' personal projects. Oh, their personal projects. They have stuff they're working on too? Like you have your database here? They do have some projects that I've already documented, but mostly I like to not interfere with my employees' personal business. Yeah. We believe in the freedom to make mistakes and fail forward. Mm -hmm. Having too much oversight would harm that. Yeah. You guys are forgiving? You like people learn and mess up and try again? Well, of course. Mm -hmm. That's How good to know. How could you expect any growth if you were constantly afraid of failure? That's true. That's very true. All right. I know I'm very tall and scary, but I'm really nice when you get to know me. Noted. But um, we'll get to know you over the night. I will see if I can get anything of interest about your employees' uh, projects. Okay. I would love to hear it. Yeah. Thank you. As a recap of that conversation, um, it looks to me like we will be coming to speak to this friend right here. Well, hello there. I believe you are uh, a friend of the speakers, am I right? 
a doctor of biology. I'm technically a botanist, but I have also majored in human biology as well. And how does that work in tandem with the machinations, I would say, of the congregation here? Well, I create a lot of the synthetic aspects of different people's augments. And I do use the mechanical side of technology for my experiments, of course. But this is not the first group of interest I've been a part of, it's just the one that is pretty much my goal. Hmm. A goal which is? Can't argue with saving the planet, huh? I cannot agree more, but, well, it depends how you go about it. And I will say every member of the church has different methods or goals. Indeed. But I'm the most open here. I was part of the GOC first. Um, Interesting. So they cut me off, so I left. Hmm. No, I was one of the founding members, but... And, uh, what is your work history with the only non-church here, the members of the Foundation? I do have some friends that are part of the Foundation, but generally, since I am viewed as anomalous by the Foundation, it's not present. I see. Then, to cut to the heart of the matter, when I spoke to the speaker, they, asked, they told me that you might be in need of some assistance. Some sort of test, as they put it. Already plant a spy device, spy the foundation, just to check on what they're really doing here. Oh. We want to take a more direct approach and just see what they say, like why they decide to cover it up a bit. Well, uh, I have spoken to them slightly, and when I ask them what their purpose is here, they basically put it, we want to make sure there's no world-ending event. So foundation. Mm-hmm. Everything is world-ending. That's why they lock it all up. But, if that's the case, since you've already given me this information, it's not really a test. So, just to give you a small one, <laughs> have you spoken to other higher members of the church so far? I don't believe I've spoken to any of the higher members. I've spoken to, well, Mother Superior, the Inquisitor, and... Uh, I forget her name again, the one with the big stick. <laughs> All right. Between the people you've spoken with, or just as you glanced around, mm -hmm. have you found one that you think is the most attractive? Attractive, you say? If you don't know off the top of your head, you can go around and ask for a smile. It's not typically my, uh way of thinking about people, but I could try to be objective. Well, if I were to say I valued openness, I might say that's you then. I can't use my own DNA, can I? Probably not. Mother Superior was also quite open. Easy to talk to. If you'd be able to get me a bit of Mother Superior's DNA, it would be greatly appreciated. Hmm. It could be a hair, it could be a, a tissue, or it could be like, oh, it looks like you have a spot in your face. Can I wipe it off for you? Hmm. An interesting mission should not be very difficult. And you can come up with any excuse if you choose to go with the hair. Unless there's just one on the like, Let me brush that off. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see how this goes. Hm. Well, I wasn't coming to flirt, but you never know what's going to happen. Interesting, interesting. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.